Welcome to Right Directions, an overseas education consultancy. Thank you. I'm planning to pursue Masters in United States of America. That's a wise decision. What is the eligibility criteria to pursue MS in USA? To pursue Masters in USA, you need to have 16 years of schooling. Few universities accept 15 years as well. Oh, I have 10 plus 2 plus 4 years of education. You are eligible. When should I start the process? Before that, you need to know that there are three important intake seasons. First, fall in the month of August. Second, spring, January season. And third, summer in the month of May. Are you familiar with the process? Hmm, not really. Okay, there are four steps involved in this exercise. You need to take qualifying tests, university selection, application process and visa. Have you taken your GRE? No. You need to take GRE if you're planning for engineering or science course and GMAT for MBA. What is GRE? GRE stands for Graduate Record Examination. It consists of quantitative, that is basic math, it is of 800 score. Verbal is also for 800 marks and it includes synonyms, antonyms and reading comprehension. GRE is for 1600 score. AWA measures your analytical writing skills on a scale of 6. It takes 30 days to get your score. GRE examination fee is $190. For more information visit www.ets.org. Now, did you get an idea about GRE? Yes. Along with GRE, you need to take TOEFL, IELTS. These test your English skills in speaking, listening, writing and reading. TOEFL will be for 120 score and IELTS is measured on 9 band. I got clarity about the tests. You should be aware that you have an option of getting your score sent to the four universities at no additional cost. In this way, you can save $100. Okay. There are 4,000 plus universities in USA. You need to select 4 to 5 universities which suits your profile. How to select this 4 to 5 universities? Consider the following criteria before selecting universities. Availability of your course, quality, ranking, fee, location and climate, infrastructure and financial aid. Select the first two universities basing on the scores on higher side, third and fourth on a moderate level and the last one where you are very much sure of getting an admit. Okay, what next after selection of universities? You need to apply to the universities. This process includes filling of online application forms and supplemental forms. Application fee payment Every university will have an application fee between $20 to $100 which you can pay online through credit card. Mailing documents to universities, score reporting. Additional score reporting for GRE is $23 per university and TOEFL is $17 per university. At an average, the process for one university will be between 4000 to 5000 rupees. After fee payment, you need to mail the following documents to the university. SSC and Inter attested copies, bachelor transcripts, GRE TOEFL or IELTS scorecards, recommendation letters given by your faculty in sealed envelope, bank statement, resume, SOP, that is statement of purpose. In SOP, you need to state why did you choose USA as your destination, why that particular major and why that university. This should be a maximum of two pages. In addition to the above mentioned documents, you need to send affidavit of support given by parents or guardian stating that he will support the student for the studies. Okay, it's fine. But how many days will it take to get an admit? It takes a minimum of two to three months to get an admit. You can track your application online. If you don't hear from them, you can mail or call to know the application status. Your admit is called as I-20. Oh, what after receiving my admit? You need to start your visa process. Once you receive your I-20, pay a visa fee of $140 at HDFC designated branch. It takes 48 hours for the barcode to get activated. Once it is activated, you can fill DS-160 form and book your visa interview date. You have to pay service fee of $200 to the university. You need to prepare for the visa interview which also includes financial documentation. Financial documentation includes your family income, savings, loan, property details. And get prepared for the visa interview. What if I don't have sufficient funds? You can have an additional sponsor. It can be your relative, family or friend. Are there any chances of financial assistance? Yes. There are a number of ways through which you can get this. Research assistantship, teaching assistantship or graduate assistantship which is identified by your academic advisor. And it also depends on your performance in first semester grades. Good grades will brighten up your chances of getting funding from the university. What about the interview? I heard it's very tough to clear it. No, not at all. Visa officer wants to know about your academics, major, university and sponsor. Prepare well. Your confidence, body language, presence of mind are important to get a visa. Be clear and honest. Is GRE mandatory to get an admit? Few universities will give admit without GRE, but it is suggested that you take GRE for better visa chances. What is a crucial step 
in the entire process. Every step is important, but university selection plays a key role and time management is important. Thank you. Best of luck. The qualified and experienced staff at Right Directions are here to help you. Right Directions helps you with training, university selection, application process, tracking your application, visa guidance and onshore assistance. Should you need further assistance, you can reach us at 9005-9007 or visit us at www.rightdirectionsoverseas.com. Thank you.